Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the League Code Contest 226. We stole the away from adjacent pairs. So the key note for this problem is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and so forth. Um, but yeah, for, for the key note for this problem is... Um, there are a couple of things. One is that making sure that it's unique. Otherwise, if it's not unique, then you have to figure out some sort of Eulerian path or Eulerian cycle, depending on how they phrase the rest of it, um, which is not hard per se, but it depends on the constraints. So constraints are that, you know, n is 10 to the fifth, so you need a linear algorithm. But be, but again, because this is unique, um, if there's a solution, and I guess they didn't guarantee that there's a solution. I was actually looking for that. Um, or there's some nums that has, uh, yeah, so that means there's a path from the beginning to the end. So what does that mean, right? That means that every number will appear in this edge list, if you call it that, um, twice because it has an in in degree and an, an out degree, if you want to call it that. So then there's only two possible answers, really, um, where, where you know you have, which is just you know going from backwards to, or from the beginning to the end or the end to the beginning. Um, so the two answers are just kind of like this or the reverse of this. But basically, what the idea is, um, well, for me, what I did is that I put everything in an edge list. Um, I, I think I do something funky, but but yeah, I put everything in an edge list so that this is much easier to kind of go through. Um, and then I just, you know, one of these, so unless it's a psycho, which there are no psychos, there's, at least, there's one place where... Um, well, actually, this side, the two places where a node, which is a number, has only one edge, which is the beginning and the end, or, you know, the, whichever one you use can be the beginning or the end. So I just take the first one and I quick, I label it as start. And then that's pretty much the idea is that, okay, I greedily, okay, I started with the start. Um, and then I remove, you know, I, I just removed the previous edge so that we know that the, the, the second edge is going to be the next edge. And then I add it to the list and I just go, kind of go in a greedy kind of way because once you choose the first node, the rest of the nodes are forced. Um, and what I mean by that is that you have no choice. This 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 will always contain only one node, always, um, if you do it correctly by removing the previous node uh, from the edge list. So once you do that, uh, there's only two possible answers depending on which which um which node you pick to start so yeah so what is the complexity of this well it, it's going to be linear time uh because you know um redefining the the edge list is going to be linear uh in terms of the um yeah it's linear this is a linear uh, um loop and this is a linear loop so everything is going to be linear and all these takes all of one so uh so yeah um so overall, this is linear time altogether in terms of space because we we kind of put the list in a better, easier place to look up. Um, this is going to be um, of n spaces as well. So and in this case, there is a distinction between edge edges. Um, when we say linear, there's edges and vertexes. But because this is um, a linked list, or if you want to call it that, um, there's um, the number of edges is going to be n minus one or or the number of nodes minus one. So in here, all of n is, you know, so there's going to be all of n nodes and edges. So when we talk about linear time and linear space, even though technically, if you want to be specific, they're referring to two different things. Uh, it's fine. It's linear time, linear space. Uh, that's all I have for this problem. Um, you can watch me solve it during the contest. Next.
uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this poem. I didn't do that well on this contest, just based on some things that if you watch the contest video, hopefully you'll see. But yeah, um, hit the like button again, hit the subscribe button again, join me on Discord again, um, and hope y'all have a good day. Take care of yourself. If you have the fortune, you know, take care of others um, to good health, stay good, stay well, you know, and pass it forward and, you know, treat people around you well um, and to good mental health. And I will see you next problem. Bye bye.